Things are moving forward on WB's new project, Odysseus, which is based on the classic Homer's film, The Odyssey. Stalingrad director Fedor Bondarchuk has been brought on to direct the film, Homer's epic poem that tells the tale of Odysseus, a Greek king who, following the events of the Trojan War, finds himself on a long, strange journey home that puts him up against cannibals, sea monsters, sirens, and a cyclops, and was the basis for the George Clooney film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? John, buy or sell Fedor Bondarchuk directing Odysseus. I'm, I'm enthusiastically, I'm going to buy this. Stalingrad, while it had its issues, and some of the issues with Stalingrad might be because some stuff might get lost in translation. It's a Russian film that's mm. subtitled. But when you look, it is, it's, it's an epic film. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the Battle of Stalingrad, one of the most turning point in the 1940s uh, of the war. And the way it's shot mm. is beautiful. And I think if you're going to do a film like this, uh, taking on Homer's The Odyssey, if you can get a director with those types of sensibilities to bring it to, I think this opens up a really interesting world of possibilities. So for me, it's going to be a buy. Alicia? I tentatively buy this too. I haven't actually seen Stalingrad as much as I, as I love foreign films, but I was reading a lot of reviews about it, and they all said that the spectacle was beautiful. The production yeah, design was gorgeous, but the story was lacking. So, great solution, bring on a classic story mm -hmm. that has stood the test of time, that has been featured in many films before, like The Odyssey, and there you go, you probably have a perfect match, it sounds fun. Or the seventh voyage of Sinbad with a cyclops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm all in, and you know what, I agree with you, I read a lot of reviews on Stalingrad, which made me feel like it was, I didn't really want, like, there was another film that came out that was very similar to that, this very long kind of war film. But I saw the trailer, and the trailer is incredible. I was like, mm. wow, that's visually amazing. So it did make me want to see the film. I'm like, even if the story's not that great, I think it'll probably be visually amazing. Yeah. So hearing that he's going to take over something that's already a, tr a tried and true story, bringing his element of visual storytelling, I think is a good a good call. So I'm yeah. going to buy it even without having seen Stalingrad. The trailer looks like... And it's not as good as the film itself, but the trailer looks like a better version of Saving Private Ryan. Mm. When you look at the trailer, that's what it feels like a better Saving Private Ryan. The movie is not better than Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Let me be clear about that. But the, it's a really good trailer. You should look it up. It's, uh, it's, it's really good. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.